Avery from God Logic Apologetics debates Mansoor from Speaker's Corner and Holy Cannoli. Brothers and sisters, you do not want to miss this barbecue. No, no, tell me, why are you not a Muslim? I'm not a Muslim because... Um, Avery, did you say your name is? Yes, sir. Avery, I'm Mansoor. Thank you, nice to meet you. Oh, First time here in Speaker's Corner? Yes, sir. So, that's a, it's, a, it's a low, kind of a loaded question, but I'll, I like something specific. So one reason why I reject Islam is because, um, you know, as a Christian, the words of Jesus are important to me. And so the Quran mentions how Jesus said that a messenger named Ahmed will come after him. Right? And so, obviously, you know, being a Christian, if Jesus ever mentioned a messenger to come after him named Ahmed, I definitely believe him. I would believe in that messenger. I believe that, you know, he's a prophet of God that brought the message of God, um, and I'll go with it. However, I don't see any evidence of that. So, I see evidence of the contrary. So, that's, that's, that's a huge reason why I would say I reject this. Now. So, if you were not a Christian, you would reject Islam because it mentions something that goes against the Bible. Would that makes sense. And it's not just it's something that goes against the Bible. It's saying it's making let a me, it's making a positive let me, claim. Let me make, that, that, let me rephrase what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. If you didn't know anything about Christianity, uh -huh. would your rejection of Islam still be valid the way you explained just now? Yes. Right. So. The, the Quran says Christ talked about someone to come after him, whose name would be Ahmed, and you, whether you're a Christian or you have no knowledge of Christianity, you think because of that you re reject Christianity. Yeah, and here's the reason why. It's because if I'm, I'm investigating the claims. As an investigator, you know, I'm trying to verify, okay, is, this tell is he telling the truth here? So when I go and I investigate and I don't see anywhere in any history where Jesus mentioned Ahmed to come after him, I'm like, oh, well, this book is false. It's making a false claim, you know? Very interesting. So as an investigator, you have investigated and looked into what this claim Jesus made. Firstly, where he has he made this claim? Yeah. The writings you've read yourself, yourself in, 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 in Greek, in Hebrew, in, yeah. in Aramaic. So you've, you've learned of all, all these languages and investigated, right? So I, I've, I've, I've looked into the text. I've looked into the text so and I haven't seen it. If a text is in Greek, you've looked into the Greek text, you've understood it, fine, good. So, so you've investigated that the early reports about Christ, the ones that talks about Christ himself, and you have made yourself a good investigator, a good critic, and say, this kind of writings is authentic and acceptable and reliable. For example, when we look at writings about Christ, in the Gospel of St. Thomas, for example, 114 saints, on the Gospel of Judas, in the Gospel of Infancy, right? In the Gospel of Mary, none of which are in the Christian canon, in the Bible the Christians follow today. But these were written by people who thought they were following Christ, who thought they were following the teaching of Christ, what Christ preached. So you investigated them and you considered, so you have all of these writings, the four in the New Testament, in your New Testament, and the other 45 or so that we know of extant in various manuscript editions and you said okay this is reliable this is not so the question now pinges on how do you establish authenticity and reliability of all of these textual tradition that is about available to us that's actually not the question that's but, the question for me well, for you well yeah so my my question is at first was where does Jesus say this that was the question not on is this reliable is this reliable is this reliable is this reliable when we look at the text of all the claims of what Jesus said, Where? we do not. Where do you look? In, in the earliest testaments that we have of, of his words. The New, the New Testament. That's right. right. Again. No, well, that's no, no, what we that's have. That's what I'm saying. Well, it, well, me, just, can I, I, I will not just speak every I want to clarify something. Yeah, but let me land this. Huh? Let me land. But, me, but, me, but me, you misunderstood my question. No, I, I, no I, I'm trying to explain my point. But do you understand my question, though? I understand your question. You asked me how. So this is why I'm saying this, because you're changing the conversation too. Not that my first question was, does Jesus mention the uh, and so where? I haven't seen anywhere where he does that. Okay. So if you can provide that for sure, me, sure, sure. that would be beautiful. So, so this is what I'm, what I'm trying to establish. Okay. Whatever Christ said or not said, let me just remind you, some, if you didn't 
remember, there are reports in some Gospels, Christ is saying something like this. I have many things to tell you, many things, not one thing, not two things, many things, but you cannot be of them. But when I go, he will come and tell you. That means whatever Christ said, he said many things, but he didn't actually tell them, these disciples. So the things that he didn't say, that also did he tell to someone else, number one, because he didn't tell them, right? Like he didn't meet Paul in real life when he was alive. He did. No, no. Yes, Paul, in real life. In real life. He in was, real Je life. Jesus is alive. In real life, Paul didn't meet Christ. Yes, he did. Don't tell me because Paul saw a vision. I'm not what? real Jesus, right? Wait, it was Let's Jesus. See that. Let's see that. He's alive. Um, a vision and a dream is not the same as seeing you. If I see you in my dream, and if I see you now physically, is it the same? It's not the same. So I don't have to even listen an answer for you. Did, did Muhammad really see Jesus me, and Abraham uh, and Moses? Let me clarify. On the night journey? Let me clarify. Because that so was a vision. Let me clarify. But, but you believe that? Hang on. It's a clarify. I'm okay. making a distinction. It's a, a distinction. it's a double standard. I'm making a distinction. What's making the distinction? distinction? I am telling you. Okay. So now, when we say, so no where distinction. did Christ, where did Christ, where did Christ say these things, right? You have documents about, you have documents yeah. in which you say, these are the documents that we believe Christ says so, right? The question inevitably that comes is, how reliable are these documents in which they supposedly talk about what Christ said or Christ did? So okay. it's important for us to verify and authenticate these documents. Right, let me respond. What are the, no, 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 let me respond. You can respond. But here's my question. Here's my, here's my question. What are the criteria that we can use to determine the authenticity and reliability of what Christ said in those available documents. Got you. So let me ask you this, and just a quick answer, please, so I can pick it back off. When you quoted Jesus saying, I have many things to say to you, but you can't bear them now, was that authentic? Is that an authentic for statement? For me, of Jesus? it's not. But uh, okay. for you, it is. Wait, wait, no. You don't know what's authentic for me. Okay. But, but, look, oh, wait, 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 but, but hold on. Stop. Take it. Time, time, time out. Just don't, don't misrepresent me. I won't do that to you. You quoted it. You what quoted did I this. Say wait, earlier? please stop. What did I, did I, I interrupt you? What did I say? Did I interrupt you? Yes, you did. No, I did not. I sat here and let you speak. Oh, no, you I, interrupted me. No, I, no I let it's you speak. On, it's on yeah, video. it's on camera. But continue. So, thank you. I appreciate it. So you quoted, you said in one of these documents, Jesus says, and you, you, you built your argument on, there's other words that Jesus mentioned that are not found here, and he didn't tell you what these words are. That's what you built your case on. So now when I asked you, okay, let's rewind. That verse that you quoted, was it authentic? You said no. So then therefore, you don't know if there were other words. You can't say that there were many words that Jesus didn't say to his disciples. You don't know if he didn't say everything. Let me respond. No, let me finish. Okay. okay? Finish so you don't know if Jesus didn't say everything. For all we know, he did. Of course, especially according to the Quran, he said everything that was in the Injil. He revealed the Injil. From, your, from the Quran's paradigm. So he didn't miss anything. Now, so we're, again. No, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So now, but you didn't finish the verse. He says, I have many things to say to you now, right? But uh, I have many things to say to you, but you can't bear them now. But when the Holy Spirit comes, who the Father will send in my name, he will guide you into all truth. For some reason, you left it out. I don't know why. But I can tell you why right well, now. Well, well, no, that, because he wasn't important. Well, well, the point uh, those plans you make is there are many it's things very you're important. to say. It's very important. So here it is. I'm asking Where again. Are they recorded well, those many things? This is what I'm this is what I'm asking. Your Quran says it makes a claim. Jesus mentioned Ahmed to come after him. Where did he say that? I'm telling you, let, let my, in my turn, I'm explaining to you. All right. Just like the prophecies of Christ himself cannot be found even by his name even once in the Old Testament, the entirety of the Old, Old Testament, we say this way the Quran is saying he was described to them by description, by attributes, right? So the prophet was known to them, not only by, like, this is what it is, says X, Y, and Z, but it was all known through description. Just like the absence of every single book of the Old Testament, in which the name of Christ is not even mentioned once. You assume it's referring to Jesus. It might well refer to Hare Krishna, right? So now, let's come back to the point I'm saying. When I say Jesus says many things, I didn't say this was authentic to me. I am saying, you consider Avery, this part 
authentic to you, binding to you, not to me, to you. So from your own binding, at least, you should say, right, I agree there were many things you were supposed to say he didn't, right? So the question I asked you again, which you didn't answer is this. The criteria of determining authenticity and reliability. Let's go on here once again. Okay. Okay. So you mentioned how, you try to make a parallel, how Jesus, the Old Testament prophecies about Jesus. Are you answering the question? He's not, I, I'm something? responding to you. I'm responding to you because you didn't answer my question. Direct question. Yeah, I, I asked the direct. Not, look, wait, wait, I asked did, a direct question and you didn't answer me. What was the direct so, question? My direct question was: Your Quran says Jesus mentioned Ahmed. Where did he say that? That he was a direct question. And, and you and you couldn't. You didn't answer me directly. You went on waffling about. You misunderstood. Well, stop. Stop. You misunderstood. Me, okay. Well, you're misunderstanding me then. No, let I haven't. Me, okay, that's fine. All right. Understand. So let me respond. Can I? But what are you responding to? Uh, I'm you, responding to you. You I wrote I'm down responding. what you said. I wrote down what you said. No, no. So I'm and responding. What did I say? You're wasting my time. What did I say? Like, you, I'm about to say it. I'm responding. Okay. So you mentioned how. You mentioned how that Jesus, the Old Testament prophecies about Jesus. We won't find Jesus prophesied by name in the Old Testament. However, we can find descriptions of him in these Old Testament prophecies. And likewise, it will be like Muhammad, where we don't find his name explicitly, but we can, the Quran says we'll find his descriptions. However, this is where you have a problem, Mansoor. Your problem is, is that your Quran says we'll find him by name. It says it. It says, Jesus said, a messenger named Ahmed will come after me. So I'm asking, where did he say this? Sure, Wait, sure. pause. So this is where you, I have, you know, it's a false equivocation. It's not the same thing. It's a false parallel. With Jesus, the Bible doesn't say in the Old Testament, we'll find the Messiah by name. However, we do. Isaiah 49, 6, it mentions Yeshua, the salvation of Christ. So we do find him by name. So, so, wait, wait. So, Paul, so, Paul, look, here's the, here's the thing. Don't make claims. Well, wait, here's the discussion. No, yeah, this engage is. with me. I am. You know, I'm saying, but I need you to engage with me. So, look, so, look, so, look, you said, look, you said that you we find descriptions of Muhammad, right? We don't have to find his name, which. It says that elsewhere in 7157 that we, we find them written. Okay, that, you know, it doesn't yeah. by name. Do you have but the Bible? 61, wait, 61 verse 6. I'll finish what you have to say. I got you, thank you. Because, because you, you don't seem to be See, engaging. Well, anyway, I'm continue. engaging with you directly. You're not engaging with me. No, no, you're not listening Six, to my okay, look, clarification. Wait, hold on, let's, let's listen to each other. 61 verse 6 says Ahmed is mentioned by name. Where? Uh, I'll answer again. You do not have the document surviving. I'll tell you why. The existence. Wait, say that part again. Sorry. Hmm? Say, repeat yourself, I didn't hear. You do not possess the documents in which we can find these names, and I'll tell you why. Ah. Because Christians have been, <laughs> as well as the Jewish people, throughout the centuries, corrupting, corrupting, corrupting the so-called words attributed to the prophets and messengers Beautiful. and nice persons. Beautiful. For example, Beautiful. I alluded to you how the corruption took you place even, even yeah. in the first 400 years of Christianity, people were corrupting the text, text left, right and center. Mm. Now, what's more important about the God we worship or so-called prophecies here and there? What's more important? Uh, well, I'll answer you. It's, it's really, it's true. Like for example, if if Allah says anything wrong in the Quran about him, anything. Yeah. If he says no, anything, the principle of God. Yeah, well, okay. Do, do, can God be wrong about anything? Um, let me answer. No, it's a yes or no, please, because it's my turn to speak. Uh, you want me to answer right, yet hold on. In, in a control? I got, I got you. I got you. Hold on. Can God be wrong oh, in anything? No. no! Can God, can, can God be wrong about anything? Um, let me answer. It's a yes or no, so I can continue. Um, do you want me to answer? No, no, no it's okay. okay so, so the answer, as we get from the crowd, is a no. Okay, I hope you agree. I don't know, you might be a... Irrelevant. A because you allow me to answer. Well, well, you are so, well, well, so, so, so... We'll see. Um, I don't know. Anyway, continue. So the answer for the crowd and most Muslims speak will be to the no. Crowd. Well, speak I'm to speaking crowd. to you. And no, I'm just letting you know that you're a heretic. It's unfair. I just, no, if you're going to speak it's, to me, it's, it's why don't you ask me and It's very answer. fair because you it's won't. So I need to ask your supporters. You very you unfair. Ask you you, you asked ask the question, question you didn't, and you don't give you me didn't answer, answer the question, Mansoor. So, ask him again. Ask him again. Okay. Can Allah, can God be wrong about anything, yes or no? Are you finished? Yes or no? Okay. Let the crowd tell him. Ask him, is he finished? It's a, it's a yes or no. So Are I you can finished? continue. Are you finished? I, I have, I, I'm asking this for a reason. 
I am going to answer, but I don't want you to interrupt. All right, pause. Yeah, so no. So it's okay. No, 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 no. It's not okay. I don't want you to answer. It's not okay. I don't want you to answer. It's okay. I don't want to talk to you. It's okay. I don't want to talk to you. That's fine. Because you don't seem to Don't run away now, man. You're running away. Don't run away now, man. Come on, man. Don't run away now. Come on, man. You know what? It's my time or your time. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. So really? Shameful when you're isn't it? No, it's, a, it's terrible. It's you are here to play a game. You. Look, we busted your game, right? Really? Uh, really? If you want to continue, you just busted a law in Muhammad. Hang on. We busted your you game. You busted here. Muhammad. You busted I'm about to show you how. That's why you don't want to so, answer. If you want to engage with me talking, that's why you don't want to answer. Hear my answer. That's why you don't want to answer. So, have you we finished? busted your game. Have you finished? That's why you don't want to answer the question. Have you finished? Okay, the question? okay how about I'm going to just respond. Have you finished your question? No, I haven't. Okay. okay. Finish your so, question. I'm, but I'll answer. I'll, I, okay. Thank you. All right. So it's, it's, it's okay. We we good. We here. We here. We here. We good. So so the question was. Can Allah be wrong about anything? Mansoor refused to answer the question. Ah, give but everybody else, everybody uh, else, correct yes. You did not. You did no. not give me whoa, the whoa, to speak. Whoa, 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 of the Christian crowd. Ah. Shameful. Yes. Ah. Shameful. Yes. Hey, Zero. hey, Zero. the Christians Zero. have the intellectual capacity Zero. to answer a simple Zero. question. Zero. Hey, good Zero. job, Christians. Zero. Good job, Christians. Zero. Good job, Christians. Zero. Yeshua Akbar. Yeshua Akbar. As we now realize, you are not sincere to have a discussion with a Muslim. I don't think you're sincere. Okay, you haven't been able to answer I, a single question straightforward. I, I, why, why are you refusing to answer a question straightforward? I haven't forward? refused. Yes, you have. You are not allowing me to respond. It's, here it is. Is Allah, can Allah be wrong? Yes or no, Mansoor? I'm answering. Answer the question. It's a yes or no. Let him answer the question. He's not finished. Can you leave class? It's, it's a yes or no. Okay, stop there. And I'm, can I answer? It's a yes or no. Can I answer? It, just give me yes or no. Look, Can I ask look, 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 let me, let me tell you have why. a verbal diarrhea? Let me, let me tell you Problem. why. Let me tell he you has why. a verbal diarrhea. Let me, let me tell you he why, can't Mansour. finish asking the question. Of course, of course. Yes, he of, course. Times. of course. So, so here it is. Here it is, Mansour. I want to answer. Mansour, Mansour, I, I got you. Can you stop? Can you stop? No, no, hold on. Hold on. I got to say this. I got to say this. Can you stop? I got to say this. I gotta say this. Can you answer? So I want to answer now. So, so it's a yes or no? I am going to answer. Once you give me a yes or no, then I'm going to continue my turn. I'm going to answer. Yeah, I'm going to continue my turn after the yes or no. I want to answer. Yeah. Are you afraid to hear it? Here it is. Are you scared so, of the answer? So, so you spoke. You spoke for at least uh, about a minute, you right? Up. You spoke about at least a minute, right? You can carry so look, afterwards. Okay, but here's my thing. No, answer, it's a yes or no, and then I go. You're scared of the answer. You will carry on afterwards. So it's a yes or no. Are you scared to hear the answer? I want a yes or no. Yes or no, man. Yes or no. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? The yes answer no. the answer is God yes cannot no. be wrong in anything. Thank you. I answered without saying yes or no. I didn't play your game. I didn't play his game. I was able to answer without saying yes or no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Your game was busted. Oh, you're right, you're right. Right. And now, and now again, my game was busted. My game was busted. And now we're about to see how Muhammad just got busted by you. You, bu you busted Muhammad. Let me show you how. Because now, now watch this, guys. So look. You, concept of God now, now watch this. Now, now, come back to yeah, now watch this. So the, away. so the concept of God is important, right? Yes. The concept of God Most is important. important. I got you, Mansoor. Relax, relax. You relax. So Don't, the concept of God is important. Away like this. So the concept Talk of God, away. the concept of God. Yeah, well, that's me, right. So one of the uh, uh, intricate characteristics of Him yeah. is that He cannot be wrong. He I cannot agree. be false. Absolutely. Okay, not. good. So if He gets this wrong, Mansoor, if if He says that that uh, Jesus mentioned. Ahmed to come after him and it didn't happen then 
Allah is not God in the Quran. He's not God because he fails when it comes to the concept of the true God. He can't be wrong. So that's why we're investigating this. This is important. And like, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not. Okay? Because I got to get back to what you said. Okay? So. Move up your bit. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. about that. Sorry. My bad. So, so look. So look. So when you say, for example, that, um, that we cannot, we don't have any of the documents where we can see or verify where Jesus said this. We have no evidence of this claim, right? That's what you said. We don't have any evidence really of Jesus' words. That's what you said. So we can't find this. So what you have, be, what because, yeah, this is what you said. You said I that. I have a memory problem. Oh, no, no, I, I have a perfect I, I, memory. You know, sometimes it, I lose it's, my it's memory. A, yeah. That's fine. Uh, it's okay. It's so, okay. So it's good. It's good. So you said this is because, because over the centuries, second, third, fourth, fifth century, the Christians have corrupted their scripture. And that's why we cannot find the true words of Jesus. For example, him mentioning that Ahmed will come after him. So you just busted Muhammad where your Quran says, and Allah, by the way, because Allah says that they had the Injil. They had the gospel that Jesus preached. They had it with them. Do you have and them? in that, in that, them? wait, uh, wait, you're saying that we don't? Of course yeah. not. Okay, okay, good. So what, so what is the NGO? Let me tell you. All right, exactly. Good. So now it's my turn to speak. Right? Absolutely. What is Thank the NGO? I'll take you. And then I'll go back to the concept of God. What is the NGO? Uh, so now, the Injil is what God gave to Isa Alayhi Salaam. What was that? You're interrupting. I'm explaining. You're interrupting me the whole time. Let him speak. Do you have a problem of letting people speak? I have, a, I have a problem of letting people lie. I'm trying to help you be on track. Um, you just called me a liar. Yes, I do. End of discussion. So, he couldn't tell me what the NGO was. He calls me a liar. Uh, he should have at least uh, have, uh, have, uh, have, 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 have after you have after you tried to insult my intelligence intellectual after you insulted my intelligence say, maybe and now you can dish out what you uh, can't take. Excuse me. Look, you look, can dish out what you can't look, take. Look, look, look. I'm not interested in speaking to someone who accused people of lying. But you, when accuse, you, could have, you accuse when, me of having a memory problem, of, 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 yeah, of, clearly, of, of messing up clearly, your words. Clearly, so so you can clearly, insult my intelligence, uh, me, but I can't, uh, I can't say that you're a liar. Is there anyone else you're a liar. Who's capable to speak about Is there, is there anybody else who's a Muslim that could tell me where the heck yeah, can I find Jesus saying Ahmed? Anyone? Any, any Muslim? Any Muslim? Any Muslim? Any Muslim? Any Muslim? Any Muslim? Muslim. 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 Alright, take care. Alright guys. Alright guys, say bye. Say bye. 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 So guys, get 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 some space, get some space, get some space. Get some space. So guys, well done, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's, but hold on, let me do this wrap up. Let me do this wrap up, guys. Guys, yeah, we're doing a wrap up. Guys, guys. This is why this is important, okay? I, I, I don't want you guys to get lost in all the commotion. The reason, reason why the questions that I asked was important, because each and every one of y'all can do it. All y'all gotta do is ask simple questions, and they can't prove nothing they say. They can't do it. But here's the problem, is because the Quran itself puts them in a bind. The Quran, notice how he's trying to say um, that, you know, in the Old Testament, we'll find descriptions of Jesus, but not by name. So we shouldn't expect the same of Muhammad. Uh oh, hold on, time out. Your Quran says will find Muhammad by name. So if we don't find Muhammad by name, then the Quran is false. Muhammad is a false prophet and Allah is a liar. But wait, wait, wait. It's been corrupted. It's been corrupted. We busted you. It's been corrupted. Oh, you didn't bust me. You busted Allah and Muhammad because Muhammad says that the Injil is in my hands, that I have it, and that if I go into it, I can find Muhammad written in it, that I can find the words of Jesus preaching off me. So if I can't, the Quran is false. Allah is a false God. Muhammad is a pagan prophet. That's what we have. So what he just did was showed us how Quran has no answers. The most intellectual, smartest, clever of them have no answers to the simplest questions. Nothing about Tawheed, nothing deep, just simple questions. And it was over. He had to run. Bye, Mansoor. Bye.